drums coming to you. I hope everybody out there is doing great, staying safe. I'm doing good, staying safe as well. Keep those masks on, keep protected. Again, wash your hands as much as you can. Um, today I wanted to talk to you guys about a uh, present that I got from one of my drum students and something I totally did not uh, expect to get. Um, it's called a spiral stacker. Basically it's you know probably cut from a real symbol and then they basically cut it into a spiral and it kind of looks like this real kind of a springy kind of a thing that you'll put on your cymbal stand and with the stick here you can kind of hear what it sounds like and that's one way you can use it it's kind of a neat little uh, device but um, I'm going to show you today what you can do with this um, basically it's like a cymbal stacker of course obviously you if you've heard of what a cymbal stacker is, it's basically placing uh, one smaller cymbal on top of a bigger one or sometimes pretty close to the same size cymbal as the one below. And you can stack cymbals and kind of make a special effect sound uh, similar to like a china or something to, you know, to that effect or um, kind of sizzly sound that you would put like, you know, little rivets and cymbals that kind of add that little sizzle effect to it. Um, th this is a, a more drastic version of it here. So I'm going to put this on the drum set and I'll give you a little demonstration of what it sounds like with it. You basically just take the, uh, the wing nut and the uh, felt washer off and then you just put the felt washer back on it again and put the wing nut back on and tie it all down and let's hear what it sounds like. Alright, so we're going to hear what that sounds like right now. Let's check it out. So as you can see, it's a really, really clever device. Uh, it can make your cymbals sound totally cool, different sounding, um, it, you know, adds that little special effect sound. Uh, if you don't want it on there, obviously you can take it off. Uh, you can use it just like a cymbal spring as well. Um, so like I said, there's a lot of cool uses for it. This is the way I'm using it right now. But um, the other thing I wanted to talk about today is I wanted to get back into this book here called the Mini Monster Book. And uh, if you watch some of my older videos, I have some other ones on there. If you just check in, you know, go to my YouTube videos and then in the search of my videos, just type in Monster Book or Mini Monster Book and it'll come up and there's a lot of cool uh, excerpts from this book that are in there. I wanted to talk about page 56 today, which is opening the hi-hat, uh, doing 16th notes with different bass drums. And I'm going to do some of those exercises right now for you today. So that way you can get an idea of what it's like and, and how basically Neil Peart and many, many other drummers use the hi-hat opening with the 16th notes on the hi-hat. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop me a line. And uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And of course, I'll be doing a lot more of these kind of books like this as well. And so check this out and I think you'll like it. Let's check it out now. Okay, I'm going to play each one of these exercises in the book on page 56. It's called Splashes with a 16th note hi-hat rhythm. Played with one hand for slower tempos. And again, you can play this for slower, medium, or faster tempos as well. 
Uh, but let's start these off. I'm going to play them kind of at a medium tempo. And we're going to do each one of these exercises four times each. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. Number 12. Number 13. Number 14. Number 15. Number 16. Number 17. Number 18. Number 19. Number 20. Number 21. Number 22. Number 23. Number 24. Number 25. 
number 25. Number 26. Number 27. So I hope you guys like this mini monster book of rock drumming. Like I said, it's a really good one to get. Uh, you can learn a lot from this book. A lot of different rock patterns, funk patterns, uh, hi-hat openings, uh, offbeat odd time. There's just so much to cover in this book. I've got other videos that are on my YouTube page. You're more than welcome to check these out as well. Again, just type in mini monster book on the, the little search engine uh, right by my videos. And uh, if you guys have any questions about what I just did today, uh, or you want to do hear some different, uh, you know, content, uh, let me know. Post it down below and I'll be happy to, I do answer all my emails. Um, so again, hope you guys still like and subscribe. Um, love to have you guys as my uh, subscriber. So don't forget. We'll see you next time. You guys take care. Keep rocking. And until then, I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. Stay safe.